to this Qigong set. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So feet are hips width distance apart. Knees are slightly bent. Bring hands, one palm over the other, right below the navel. Drop those shoulders, breathing in and out of the nose. Eyes can remain open or can gently close. Connecting with your breathing at your own pace as you settle in. Now that you've arrived, go ahead and deepen that breath into the belly. So on your inhale, breathing deeply into the belly, pushing against those palms. And as you exhale, belly contracts, palms come towards the body. Breathing in and out of the belly at your own pace, feeling those sensations with this diaphragmatic breathing. Go ahead and drop your hands, open your eyes if they were closed. And on your inhale, palms together, bring them up overhead, pushing towards the sky, slight back bend. Exhale, hands come back down to middle. Inhale, arms move up, palms face. Then they open up and push towards the sky. Exhale, bring those hands down. Inhale, arms up. Push towards the sky, back bend, exhale, keeping those knees bent. Two more times, inhale, arms up, exhale, bringing them down. Last time, arms float up, push the sky with those palms, exhale down. Excellent job, everybody. Let's go ahead and drop those hands to the side. Feet come a little bit wider than hip distance apart, bending at those knees, and you're going to start rotating from the upper back, twisting at your shoulders and your rib cage, keeping your hips and knees and feet square to the front of that room. Your arms are going to tap against your body. Go ahead and make the movements as big or as little as you like, tapping those hands on your hips, your lower back, wherever your hands make contact with your body in the front and the backs of your body. Just waking up the energy. Continuing to breathe in and out of your nose. Let's go ahead and bring this to a slower stillness as we close it up. And let's open our legs even wider than hip distance apart, as wide as is comfortable for you. And we're going to bend, keeping those knees facing forward, just as we were before with our arms coming around our bodies. So a bigger bend with the knees, feeling the legs warming up. Arms continue to wrap around the body, going at your own pace. Okay, bringing this to stillness at the center. Locking one hand around the wrist, arms come up overhead. And then turn to the right on the inhale. Then exhale, dropping the body to the ground. Inhale, up to the other side. Exhale, down, sweeping across the ground. Inhale to the side. Exhale, sweeping through the middle. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale as you rise up. Going at your own pace a couple more real, a couple more times, I should say. Inhale up. Exhale through the middle. Last time. Coming back to center. 
Heel toeing those feet back to the middle, dropping those arms. Great job. Let's go ahead and shake it out. So shaking out the fingers, shaking out the wrists, bouncing with your knees, shaking out your elbows, shaking out your shoulders, shaking out one leg, shaking out another leg. Keep the arms moving. Don't do what I do, do what you do. Shaking out the hips, shaking up and down, just as long as you're moving. We're moving the stagnant energy out of our body. Just keep on shaking. Excellent job. Okay, let's bring that to a close. We're going to do some tapping now. So we're going to start with our hands on the lower parts of our back, tapping down the backs of our legs, around the ankles, tap up the fronts of your legs. Coming to your navel, down to your pelvic bone, C of chi, tapping at those hips, down the outsides of the legs, around the ankles, up the insides of the legs, around again to the back, tapping down the backs of the legs, and around those ankles, up the fronts of the legs. Tapping around those hips, outsides of the legs, up insides of the legs. Great job. Moving up to the chest. Using both hands to tap across the chest if you can. And then one arm down the inside of your arm, around your wrist, up the outside of your arm. Move at your own pace. Go where you want to go. There's no formula. Just as long as you're tapping down the inside of your arm, we're waking up the energy, up the outside, around the shoulder. Last time. Great job. Wake up those arms. Good morning, Mr. Arm. Good afternoon, Mrs. Shoulder. Like I said, you're moving at your own pace, just as long as you're tapping down one side, around that wrist. Up the other side. Last time. Great job, everybody. All right. Tap yourself on the shoulder. Tap yourself on the back. Congratulate yourself for being here. You made it. Excellent work. All right. Let's come back to our starting posture. Feet, hips width distance apart. Slight bend in those knees. Let's go ahead and step one foot forward. Both feet are down to the ground, so both heels are down to the ground. If you need to make your stance a little more narrow and less wide, please do so. All we're going to do is bend at the knee and then move our arms in a breaststroke. So inhale forwards, pushing the palms out. Exhale, swirling the arms to the side. Inhale. Exhale, keeping both heels to the ground. So it's not a large stance if you need to move your feet closer, that's fine. Inhale, exhale. Let's switch sides. The other foot comes to the front. Again, find that stance that's good for you. It may not be very wide because you want to keep both heels to the floor. Move up. Both heels to the floor. So it doesn't have to be a very wide stance, okay? Inhale, pressing forward. Exhale, leaning back. Arms are in the breaststroke. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Move that energy. Great job. Let's bring this to a close. Let's do one just for a rolling posture. So on the inhale, we're going to roll up. And on the exhale, we're going to float all the way down into as much of a forward fold as you can do, touching the ground. Inhale, rolling up. And then exhale, back bending. 
down. Inhale up. Exhale. Roll as high as you like or as low as you like. It's a fluid process. Tilting at the hips, keeping those knees bent. The whole back of the body is involved. So rounding that back into the forward fold. And then when you inhale, coming up, back bend, tilting forward. Following your breath. Moving at your own pace. Let's go ahead and bring this to a close. Feet are hip width distance apart. There's a slight bend in your knees. Palms come together on the inhale. And then open the arms like a fountain spraying water. Bend forward. Inhale. Exhale. Hunch over, shoulders down, bending at the hips and the knees. Tilt the hips forward, exhale. So again, you're moving the whole body as you fountain. So the center of your body is doing a lot of the work. The arms are just floating. And all in all, you're following your breath. Last time. Bringing those hands back to the center. Keeping that knees, those knees slightly bent, those shoulders down. Hands are just to below the navel. You can close your eyes. It's up to you. Keep them open. Feel any sensations, tingling, lightness, heat. Just notice the body. Feel your body as you breathe. Finishing off together, balancing out the energies. One hand floats out to the side, to the sky, and then draws a line down the center of your body. Other hand follows. It's a fluid, flowing practice. One more time on each side before we wrap up. Hands coming back to right below the navel. I thank you for practicing Qigong with me today. You've cultivated, moved, generated, and accessed energy to move you through your day. Thank yourself for practicing. And in gratitude, it was great being here with you. Thank you.